Hello. Give him a face. The video, Give Him a Face, was part of the Give Him a Face movement created by the boss Francis Cope. You understand what I'm saying? It's not a video about me ranting against anybody. It's about me telling people exactly how those people who carry on by writing negative things on the bottom of my page. If you look at most of my videos, I have negative things written about it on the bottom. People call me the N-word. They get racist. Whenever the video pertains to race, whenever the situation is somebody white doing something to black, or somebody black doing something to white, or some police brutality, there's a white person or a hate group that writes negative things on the bottom of my page. Mr. Costco 21. Now, I'm going to call you Costco 21 because that's the name you came out with when you first came out. You can change your name constantly, but it doesn't matter. I only do these videos for my people. I'm not going to sit back constantly and comment on every video response people do. I don't do that. People say what they're going to say, I say something, and I connect their video. In this case, I cannot connect your video to the Give Them a Face movement because you're not falling within the guidelines of the purpose of the video. As you see right now, you can't see my face. Give Them a Face was based on the faceless people who write negativity on the bottom of one's pages. And 95% of the negativity I get is quote from white hate groups. There are some people who say, you know what, you're stupid, and when black people say something negative, they might just call me a bitch or something, or something stupid like that. The white people who say something negative always call me nigger, fucking crackhead, niggers rape white women, white, you know, all shit like that, that's what they say about me. That's what my Give Them a Face video represented. And as far as me putting my hand on my face, giving myself a mask, if you watch the entire video in its entirety, I not only spoke of the white people that hate on me on YouTube, I spoke of the black people that hate on me on YouTube. And that play jokes and games and try to get you to do things that aren't real. I'm telling you. So, Costco. I'm not going to waste my time on this. This video will not be connected to Give Him a Face because it ain't about Give Him a Face. It's about you questioning my YouTube ability, I guess. I don't know what it is about people want to question me now. People want to take their pot shots at me. I'm not standing on the top of YouTube. Why don't you go take some shots at Chris Crocker? Or maybe, you know, uh, What the Buck or Sexy Phil. Take pot shots at those people. Take pot shots at uh, uh, Hot for Words. Take pot shots at Paul Sylvain, 7G7. Take pot shots at these partners out here and stop wasting your efforts to try to pick me apart in videos when I've already gave you your props and respect for being able to pick up a camera and talk. If I'm the only person that can motivate you on YouTube, man, I'm sorry. If I'm the only black person that's saying something positive about white people or, or how negative white people are towards white people, I am sorry. I can only tell you from my perspective. And like I say, in all these videos and every video I do, I speak from my eyeballs only. From what I see from behind my corneas, what's pushing what I see from my visions, from what I've gone through in life, I can only speak from my perspective, but I look at every situation from the other person's perspective. That's why I can speak on white and black subjects. I'm not one of those pigeonholed ass black guys who have only one thing bad to say about anything and that's only black women. If you look at the state of YouTube, there's more black women and black men fussing and arguing over their little pitiful problems than others. 
there's more people saying negative things about black women than any other woman on YouTube or probably the internet. And um, I just saw the new promo for the new Fox lineup, and you have uh, a scene coming up in uh, Family Guy. Where Brian uh, walks across, his, he meets this other dog, and this other dog has a chick on a leash. Now, when you look at this dog, notice his fur is brown. And notice when you see this chick on the leash, her hair is blonde. You need to look at things like that and find out why society is trying to place images in one's mind. Other than watching one man speak from his perspective. If there are some people out there that understand me and they can touch and pull and pick parts of what I'm saying out and apply them to what they're applying in their life or whatever, then that's fine. But there's people out there who can't understand me at all and all they have is negative things to say about me solely because I'm black, then I guess that's fine too. That's what YouTube is for. Debate. But I can't understand why you, of all people, want to continue with me I know you watch my videos I appreciate that and I've watched your videos replies too I respect you for that but it's 900 people who just try to give me videos replies and, and people send me videos to watch you really want to get my attention you send me a video that bugs you and you tell me why it bugs you and I will look for that and if I catch it too and I will reply. The thing is with YouTube is a lot of people take things personal. And in some situations, when people cry out, like the, the guy just recently suicided himself and killed the young girl, that situation wasn't cool at all. Sometimes people reach out and truly do need help on YouTube. And sometimes people are bullshit. So when you find somebody that's really telling the truth, you feel it in your gut. But right now, my state of YouTube is this. People come at me with drama. People expect me to give them drama. And I'm not full full of drama like that. My band just split up. I can't make music like I used to. And the only people that fuck with me on YouTube now are psychotic who want to take me down. It seems as when you get past 800 videos, they try to take you down. I got to the 800 video mark before, and I erased videos. Well, I got close to 800, and I erased videos. I'm going to start erasing some more videos now. It's because when people perceive you have a lot of shit for people to look through, when people understand that you have a library of knowledge or whatever, just thoughts, quotes, or whatever, that's why I have a variety show. People tend to want to take you down. And the person that takes you down, he wears a badge for about 15 seconds. Until somebody gets mad enough to try to flag every video he has and take him down. Till next time, be kind to one another. Wait a minute. That's not my sign-off speech. Wait a minute. I'm supposed to say something dramatic. Or I'm supposed to yell at you because you think I'm supposed to be yelling at you. Or I can only do my YouTube thing yelling through people, yelling at people. Whoa, the 49ers are winning. Yeah, great. But Costco is not worth yelling. I speak from my perspective. I want to watch a Costco 21 video that has nothing to do with the real AIX for once. I appreciate your time that you spent on me. But don't waste your time on me when there's much more out there in this YouTube world for you to look at. But if I'm the only person out here telling you truth, if I'm the only person that you can see some truth in, then you spread the truth and you look for others like me. Because in the end, no matter what color you are, because when we all line up to walk in that gas chamber, they're going to march all of us in there, no matter what color we are, until we wake up. Or, they might just march you in there, because I'm staying at home, and you've been tubed. Woo! Come on, Niners. Oh, holy!
Offense number 70. 